I've watched the entire documentary. It is riveting. One of the things I found so fascinating, the former trainers who worked at SeaWorld, who said on camera, I knew nothing about fish. <laughs> right. I'm from the Midwest. Right. I just wanted a job there. And right. they are the people, oftentimes, that we are seeing swimming mm -hmm. with many of these marine life That's right. and, and, and interacting with them. That seemed very stunning, and it seemed also frightening. It was very frightening. I think that, um, and I always have to say this, that the, the trainers at SeaWorld and, uh, are, are so clearly the ones who are sort of putting themselves front and center. Well, you there's know? four of them anyway in the film. Oh, f for sure, yes. What four, about others? Did else? you come across any others oh, yeah. who didn't want to talk to you? Um, no, I never came across anybody who didn't want to talk to me. Everybody in, engaged and wanted to be interviewed. Anybody who was interviewed is in the film. There were a couple people that backed out very last minute and said, if I speak out against SeaWorld, I will never work for another zoological uh, institution, institution again. again. There were also uh, videos of employees at SeaWorld um, reciting facts and statistics about orcas that your experts, orca researchers, just plainly state are not true. They just don't comport with science. Right. Were there others who you also were able to capture on film uh, working at SeaWorld who said accurate statements, but they got cut. They weren't in the film. No, there weren't any. Everything that we heard there, in fact, we cut some of the miseducation that we heard just because we didn't have time for you know an entire segment about miseducation. And they said things like the, the orcas in the wild only live about 30 years, and many of them have dorsal fins that, that are floppy. That's when right. in fact, that's just not, it's the opposite. That's exactly right. That's okay. exactly right. Here's one of the tough questions, though, and I think a lot of people who see the, and you should see this, this film. Without question, you should see this film. But I think many people will also say, if it weren't for the 11 million people a year who go to SeaWorld, we might not know as much as we know and be exposed to these marine mammals and their majesty and their right. phenomenon, you know, right, right. if we didn't have a chance to see them up close and personal like that. I get it. Right. There are downsides. Yeah. Do the upsides outweigh those downsides? I don't think they do. But I do always want to say that I think maybe the reason we actually are having this conversation and that we care so much and love sort of killer whales and dolphins is because we probably have experienced them maybe close up at a marine park and seen them gazing back at us and that is this sort of connection i think that people have however the most important thing we've learned about keeping these animals in captivity for 40 years is that they don't belong in captivity they live very short lives they're they get very sick they're fighting all the time with each other right tremendous social social strife within the, within the, their own you know families in there in, in SeaWorld, and then they attack trainers.